I have been working at the observatory since fall of last year. And I've been working here since the fall of 2007. I think the coolest thing we've seen recently was probably Jupiter. Jupiter is, uh, it's actually setting around 7 o'clock now, so we won't see that much this semester, but you can see all four of the moons of Jupiter, Io, Europa, Callisto, and Ganymede all in a row. And they move in their positions, and then on Jupiter you can see the different bands of the, uh, the atmosphere. Very impressive. It's a real clear night, and the stadium lights are on. We can pretty much see up to a magnitude 6. So we were just up looking at the Andromeda Galaxy, which is how far away? About 2.5 million light years away. So it's pretty significant distance. All times of the year are good for viewing. So there's advantages to each of the winter. It actually tends to be clearer. Usually this, the atmosphere is a little bit more stable. It doesn't move as much in the winter. The disadvantage is it's kind of cold. So you gotta make sure you wear a coat when you come up here. I've had people walk up here without a coat and they're going like this the whole time. <laughs> so you gotta make sure you wear a coat. The summer, you get a little bit more atmospheric disturbance. Uh, same thing in the spring, but it starts being warm enough that you can just come up in a t-shirt if you like. So uh, there's all the objects change constantly. So this semester, we're kind of losing Jupiter. Jupiter's setting about seven o'clock now right about when we open, but we've got Mars now, and later in the semester we'll get Saturn in the early evening. It's got a ring system, very impressive. Um, we'll also get um, Venus, and later on in the semester, in the early evenings, we'll have Venus. And these constellations you can see at a given time in the evening will also change. So Orion has become one of the dominant constellations, but that will change, and then later as we approach the summer, we'll start to have the summer triangle and so forth. So, the cool thing about the observatory is if you come back in a month or so, it will be different. There's always something different to see. There used to be a telescope here until 2000 when we bought the new telescope. The old telescope has been turned into a traveling telescope, which is this telescope right here. And you can see it's featured on this 2010 NASA calendar. It's important because it not only travels around to different universities, but uh, during the last semester it was featured at the White House on the astronomy night at the White House, so the NIU telescope is famous as we travel across the country. The observatory is open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday nights this semester from 7 until 10 p.m. And we are open rain or shine, so you can actually come up. On those nights we will always be here, and the cost is absolutely free. There is no cost, you can come up here as much as you want, as often as you want. We love visitors. I love it when people come up and we can talk about the stars because it's a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of people come up here multiple times and we get to know you. Oh, we saw this last time. Can we try to find this? And some people come up here trying to find stars that they purchase and we're just kind of like, maybe not, but we'll try to find something else that's cool.